guys, this is Ram Sid with FX Depot Productions, and this is the final installment of Adobe After Effects CS5, creating an epic space scene in After Effects only. Um, first of all, I'd like to say sorry to all my viewers, because um, they thought that the last part was going to be the last part, essentially. But unfortunately, YouTube only allows 15 minutes of video. So it kind of like went to about 13 or 14 or something like that. Anyways, I'm planning to continue it in this part. And let's continue. In the last part, I stopped by telling you how to create this texture. It's not exactly a texture, this um, effect. Now we'll continue by um, sort of like creating the sun layer. So let's create a new solid. Let's call this solid sun make it comp size click ok and now let's go back into the effects and presets and let's type in lens flare okay this is there as a built-in plugin we don't need video copilot although if you do have video copilot you can use that because it's much better than this one anyways we have this and in flare brightness we will change it to about 10 percent and we'll change the lens type to 105 millimeter prime and we'll blend it with original by maybe two percent okay and now we'll bring its position sorry just bring it back there we just select um, the flare center okay wait a second let's sort of set it somewhere there we'll bring it somewhere here essentially we need a little part of that flare to be there too so we'll just fix it somewhere there and we'll go into the toggle mode and let's make this a 3d layer too or forget about that just go into toggle and let's create it from a normal to a screen to transfer mode essentially and again let's just change the position somewhere over here okay wait somewhere there okay that's good and it looks good too all right now we're done with the um the all the textures now all we need to do is create the camera and the movement of this moon first we'll create the camera so we'll create a new camera let's make it a 50 millimeter and we'll create okay and then we'll create a new null object and we'll parent the camera to the null object okay now let's make both of them 3d and uh, finally we have to sort of like keyframe the position the movement of this so i'll just bring it from 30 seconds my work frame to about a little off 10 seconds Let's select the moon one composition and in position we'll just select that and we'll move um, uh, the moon somewhere off here. Okay. We'll just bring our time indicator to about 10 seconds, exactly 10 seconds, and we'll put a sort of, oh, let's just keep it back to zero and let's put in a position keyframe and we'll bring in our um, let's leave it right there let's bring it back the time indicator to about 10 seconds and again we'll bring out our moon composition in front like this and out of the screen so now it is tracked the motion and if you render it out here this is how it looks like it's like sort of coming from the side and blocking out the sun and all of that just passing in front of Saturn it's literally a really good effect it looks really good and realistic we want it to have as much of visibility as possible that w that's why I took it in front of the sun and in front of the rings otherwise if it's somewhere down there we'd hardly notice it at all sometimes Let's just allow that to render. Oh, let's leave it. Anyways, you saw how the position keyframe should be key keyframed. And now let's create um, 
null objects. Sorry about that. Movement. So we'll go down to about 10 seconds. Okay. And let's put a position keyframe right there. We'll go back to zero. And we'll sort of go up. Maybe somewhere over there. That's pretty good. Okay, so that means when you sort of like come down, the sun will come into view. And then, as you can see, at the same time, this moon is also passing in front of the camera while it's sort of like going down. So this is the kind of effect we're trying to create. I mean, you can create any sort of effect you want. You can even change the position of Saturn and the moons and everything. But this is just a sort of example that we're trying to create. Yeah. So anyways, this is what we're trying to create, essentially. And now we have created all the elements and we're almost done. We just need to create a more lively, uh, a more glow, so to speak, to all of these elements. So let's just allow this to render. We'll take just a few more seconds. And if you want to render it out about 30 seconds, you can leave the work frame there. I've just done this for quick purposes. So this is how it looks, by the way. It looks pretty good. You know, it looks really good, in fact. So, anyways, we'll go back to zero. We'll shut that off. Go back to the top, and we will create a new adjustment layer, and to that we'll apply effect stylize glow. I was meaning that literally, and we'll change the glow threshold to zero. The glow radius to about 135, and the glow intensity, uh, sorry, we'll change the glow intensity to 0.5, and we'll change the glow based on to alpha channel, and the composite origin to on top, and that's good enough. And then we'll go to the transform mode, and we'll select from normal to screen and as you saw that created a little more brighter expression to this and I just want to do one more thing I want to go into moon 2 and I want to put in a bright a sort of glow to that too so let's go to um, let's show that off go to effect stylize glow so let's put the glow threshold to about make it 90% uh, nah, yeah, let's just make it zero too. We'll set the glow radius to 35, and we'll change the glow intensity to a 0.5, and we'll change the composite origin to on top, and change uh, the color A to a sulfuric yellowish color. You know, sort of. Okay, and that's it. We've created the glow. And now we'll just render this out. We'll just come back in the CC sphere and we'll change the render from full to outside. And we'll do that for Moon 01 as well, from full to um, outside. This kind of makes it render faster too. So, okay, let's render it out. It looks really good, doesn't it? I mean, this is how you use fairly really simple techniques that are already available in After Effects and apply it to create this epic, epic space scene of Saturn and its rings, a volcanic moon, another moon here, and the sun, the star background, and the dust level. I mean, this is incredible. So what this tutorial's aim was to teach you on how to use these techniques to create epic space scenes of your own, or for that instance, any kind of space scene, or any other kind of um, effects that involves using fractal noise, or lens flares, or CC spheres. So we'll just watch this composition one more time without all those markers. Let's go down. Sorry about that. Let's go back to After Effects. Yeah.
and it started off. It looks awesome, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Anyways, thank you for watching my tutorial and rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Ram Sid signing out for Adobe After Effects and VFX Adobe Productions.